Hello students, um, what I'd like you guys to work on today is the U9 engineering um, phone charger stand. So this is a sample um, problem that I would like you guys to develop some solutions to. Okay, so let's take a quick look at some of these solutions. Um, so our very first one, let me do a little bit of a screen sketch. This is a phone holder that will plug into the wall and hold your phone while charging. So commonly, um, the phones you know can just be hanging down, they can snap off the cable and the cord, and this can be a real problem. So let's look at some of the different parts. I would like you to identify what is the purpose of this part here. What is the purpose of this part? And why does it have a hinge? So enter that information into this little zone here. Uh, next up, you need to determine the size of the hole, so the size of this position here, um, so that it can fit over the socket. So this is a drawing that has some different sizes to it. I would like you to consider the different dimensions here figure out which dimension is the one that's going to give us the overall diameter so that's the distance here to here of the plug and I want you to enter that into this information here. Next let's look at the hinge. We know that hinges have to stop at 90 degrees. All right, this is a little side view of a potential hinge. All right, the two parts of the holder are joined in AutoCAD and the part is four millimeters thick. So how would you create a hinge if you had to create one for your part. So we're talking about this hinge here. There's all kinds of different hinges. You might want to do a little search on the web. If we scroll down a bit, let's look at the next section. Okay. What I would like you to do then is let's take a let's, let's pause that one. Okay, if I'm looking at this one, um, here it's asking you to find out what are some different types of modifications you can do to saw um, to to different um, extrusions. So here's an example. If I had a box like so, you can actually cut the edge off a box so it ends up turning out a little bit like this. Or it's got a nice sharp angle cut on it. So when it's a, when it's a sharp angle cut onto it, that's called a chamfer. If you look at this phone here in this drawing, it's not a sharp angle, but it's actually, in fact, a curve. That's called a fillet. So a fillet is when you produce a curve to the object. So instead of it being nice and straight like so, it's actually got a small curve. Well, what does that help? Well, if you're holding your phone, it won't actually dig into your hand. So these are some changes you can do um, to your object. So in an example is... If you look at the phone holder here, let me get you a fresh piece. Let's have a look. Okay, so if you look at the phone holder here, I could have made this phone holder, right, by simply making a box like so, and then another piece here, which holds my phone. But instead what I've done is I've added a nice gentle curve or fillet in this section. And I've filleted this edge and this edge, the hole in the middle. And then down here I've added a fillet and a fillet. So you could choose to do that if you wanted to. You could also have made it this way. So you could put a chamfer. So you could chamfer the edges so it's nice and sharp but might have a different look to it. Alright, so that's what the purpose of this is, this little zone here. Finally, if you move past that stage, I would like you thinking about... Let me change colors. I'd like you thinking about your drawing itself. So if we have a look at our drawing, um, you need to figure out what kind of phone you might have or your parents might have. So for example, my phone um, is a Galaxy S5. So I need to find on the web the sizes. Let's have a look and see if I can find a size. Galaxy S5 dimensions. Okay, so it's not too complex to find some dimensions. If we click on here, you can actually look up and find some of the basic sizes. Okay, so this tells me the overall length of 131 millimeters, the width in the thickness 9.1 millimeters. 
episode two.